Um, I hope you are doing pretty well. It's been a while since we've done a reading for you, so I'm stoked to get into it. Um, we just had that new moon in Cancer. Um, I believe the moon is still currently in Cancer. It's a very kind of emotional energy, right? Your fire sign, very watery energy. Um, so you could be, you know, tapping into your intuition, you know, maybe being a little bit more into your emotional side of things. Um, good or bad, you know, depends on the energy that you're really, that's really surrounding you, you know, or like in your, um, or that you're paying attention to, right? Dwelling on. Um, I don't like using that word dwelling, but tis what tis. So, um, yeah, let's see, let's see what's going on for you. Looks very positive. Um, we have the flower of life. Something's blooming here, right? Um, this is inspiration, awe, and dreams. I like that. Um, we're going to use our my Wonderland tarot deck. It's our deck, really, because the messages are for y'all. Um, so let's see kind of what's unfolding for you, what's blooming here, you know, um, what's connecting. The Flower of Life is all about these connecting um, points. You know, uh, it's, it's made up of so many components, you know, so let's see how that's, uh, what this inspiration is, you know, it's like the more, like you could be daydreaming, visualizing and manifesting, really focusing on like planning things out at this time. Um, All right, I'm going to stop right there for a sec. The Ace of Wands came out, right? I fucking love that. That's all about a passionate new beginning. This is like first step in a new direction, right? Kind of like um, in that energy of like starting out a new cycle. Um, very beautiful. I like that. Um, and this is like... Kind of like the divine kind of offering you something that you can feel inspired about, right? Do you see that energy of inspiration showing up a lot? Um, mm -hmm. So we have the Emperor, Divine Masculine Energy, Aries Energy also, um, very fiery. Um, the Emperor is all about leadership, right? This is organization. This is like being strategic, planning things out, really, um, you know, getting the ball rolling on things. But the Magician card showing up, in context with this, I'm seeing this as like you being very resourceful, being able to really manifest this. Um, really looking at new opportunities. I'm seeing the Cheshire Cat in both of these pictures here. And the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland always shows up when she needs answers, right? Or whenever she's at a place where she's like, all right, I'm at this fork in the road. Where do I go, you know? Um, and that kind of reminds me of a very specific conversation that Alice had with the Cheshire where, um, she's like, I'm lost. Where do I go? I don't know what to do. And then he was like, well, do you know where you're going? And she's like, well, not exactly. And then he said, well, if you don't know where you're going, then it doesn't matter which way you go, you know? And 
it's kind of I feel this like exciting not really knowing exactly how like what to expect like you know you're strategizing clearly um but I feel like when um when things start coming to fruition it might turn out better than you anticipate right um because sometimes we only plan so much or we can only plan for so much and then the unexpected shows up and then um and we get to navigate that we have the knight of swords in reverse with the death card in reverse you may have had to walk away from something here um something that you were very motivated by with the knight of swords right something that you were very driven for with the death card being in reverse that's telling me that you're you're in this rebirth after that you know like something came to a completion and now you're in the rebirth mode which totally makes sense because the magician is number one in the tarot deck right with the fool being the zero card which comes before it but the magician is step one right ace of wands one um with the death being in reverse rebirth one you know and so i'm seeing a lot of this energy of this new cycle right things are changing things are shifting for you right now have the lovers sideways to be or not to be that is the question so I'm gonna leave that sideways and we're gonna find out why it's almost like there is a connection and it's not quite over but let's see could be in the process of making a decision because the lover the lover's card was originally like the card of making a big decision you know i'm gonna clarify it see why it's popping out lack of days Two of Swords in reverse tells me that this is something that you're very open to, right? Um, so it's like connecting but not connecting, if that makes sense. Maybe this is something that you're bringing in. This is something that you're very motivated by. You could be in the beginning stage of like starting something. Four of Pentacles in reverse tells me you could have had to, with that Knight of Swords in reverse and the Death card in reverse, you may have had to leave like a job because the Four of Pentacles is all about like money, holding on to money. You might be in a position where you have to start spending money. Um, Four of Wands in reverse with the Queen of Swords. Four of Wands in reverse could have been like a contract or a commitment of sorts that had to be like severed here with the queen of swords um so like in regards to that four of pentacles in reverse if there's like a situation where um it could be work related honestly like if you were very committed with especially with that knight of swords being in reverse this is something that you're very driven by very motivated by um could also be a relationship that you have to like you could be leaving one and entering into another 
Um, but I'm more so with that Four of Pentacles in reverse, kind of seeing like this work energy. Um, kind of like, yeah. So let's see, I'm going to grab some clarifiers on it. Five of Wands in reverse, whatever it is, it takes conflict out of your life, right? If you were, if you were having a lot of conflict or a lot of conflicting thoughts, you weren't feeling at ease. If there was like a competitive nature in, you know, whatever situation that was, it's like, this actually brings about a lot of peace for you because you're no longer in this energy of con conflictedness. Yeah, we have five of swords, or not five of swords, five of cups, I'm sorry, um, which tells me that it was very disappointing for you. Here's the kicker. Um, with the seven of pentacles, it's like you weren't out of options, right? Opportunities are there. This is the harvest card. This is like a lot of blessings coming in after a great disappointment. That's really what I'm seeing here. Um... And then with the strength card, the Leo energy showing up, you've got a lot of major arcana, which tells me that you're definitely on like your main quest line. You know, you're not just like stuck on meaningless side quests. This is something that's literally changing. It's altering the trajectory of your life, your outcomes here. The strength card shows up, you know, during a time where you're like, all right, time to be strong, time to have this courage, time to pursue something that, you probably perhaps have never done before because I'm also seeing the full card, right? And that's ground zero, right? The first, first, this is like, all right, taking a leap of faith in this direction and I just know things are going to turn out. Having zero to one um, really indicates to me going from the fool to the magician that like not only are you willing to take this leap of faith and go in this new direction, but you're very resourceful in the way that you do so. And we have Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, right? This is like essentially getting everything that you've been wishing for. Um, but it took a great disappointment. Like every, every time we manifest something, right? Like we have to sacrifice something. Um, it's just the nature of the thing. So like if say you're manifesting a new career opportunity or with the lover's card like a new lover for example perhaps you had to get out of a certain um environment in order for that to be possible Yeah, we have the Hermit card in reverse, which tells me that you're definitely leaving your comfort zone. Um, definitely walking away from, from your comfort zone. That's Virgo energy, by the way. We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, right? Um, so, yeah, I definitely feel, because there's a lot of pentacles. Either you're walking away from an earth sign or a previous job um because i'm just seeing a lot of this money showing up with the four of pentacles in reverse and the, the page of pentacles in reverse it's like even the four of wands in reverse it's like this energy of having to walk away from something that just wasn't serving your highest good or it wasn't really paying out um or panning out the way that you had hoped with the star card, Aquarius energy showing up, I see that like, I mean the star card represents the light and the darkness, right? This is getting appreciation, acknowledgement. This is like things coming to fruition for you. 
this is also optimism and knowing like, you know, yeah, that might have been a crappy situation that you were in. It might have been very disappointing. At the same time, it's giving you peace, you know, with the five of wands in reverse. Um, it's allowing you to really do things that are really in alignment with what you feel is is what it's your wish fulfillment, right? <laughs> it's it's really falling into alignment with your wish fulfillment. And man, when when you do that, you know, when you fall into alignment with your wish fulfillment, you literally have to let the things that aren't your wish fulfillment fall away. You know, you have to allow that to to go. So, I'm going to grab some Kali cards. This is very positive. I like this. Um, I feel like most of my Sagittarius readings have been pretty optimistic. You know, like, Sagittarians have just this thing, this, like, crazy ability to not only, like, survive well, but, like, to be super resourceful in any situation, you know? That song, There's a Light That Never Goes Out by the Smiths, just came to my mind. To die by your side is such a heavenly way to die. And it's a ten-ton truck. Well, it, yeah, so it's like, I don't know. I see that it might be a bit unconventional. Um, but I feel like it's ultimately like it's what you desire, you know? Vanessa, she is the rising sun, marking the ending of darkness and a replenishment of life force after illness or devastation. She creates a clean slate and a fresh start. She protects and preserves that which is worthy of the heart. She shines in a perpetual state of divine beauty and radiance, attracting to us the most supporti supportive and honoring circumstances. Um, yeah, pretty much what I was saying. Just way more articulately. Um, yeah, so pretty much, uh, yeah, I feel you're definitely going into kind of a golden age for yourself right now. Um, the golden years. Golden years. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm all about the music. It just comes to me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, that's, that's what I have for you. I wish you luck on your journey. I feel like this is going to be exciting for you. Um, it's going to be taking that leap out of your comfort zone and experiencing something um, that you've never experienced before. And that's exciting, right? <laughs> that's exciting as hell. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. Namaste. I love you guys, and I'll catch you later.